Painting, drawing or doing something creative can be an enjoyable public activity as well as a private passion that anybody can do at any time in their life. I think a lot of people have a, a bit of a preconceived idea of what art is. You know, many, as soon as you mention the word art, they think you know, painting on the wall uh, or a drawing or a picture, that kind of thing. Uh, whereas the arts are um, all, all, all that surround us. We went to Stockport's Vernon Mill to visit the internationally known artist John Booth at his warehouse studio to find out how he got started. It just started as a, a kind of hobby. And um, believe it or not, it sort of got out of hand. A hobby that got out of hand, you know. And I've, um, my work was starting to get noticed by people. Um, I had exhibitions at the, the Blythe Gallery in Manchester. I was doing, taking stuff down to London. I was shown at the Fermano Fermano Gallery. The Battersea Fair, Battersea. Town Hall exhibitions, um, Space 8 at Hollywood Road, and various other places, shops and galleries, and, and, and of course, um, BBC TV got wind of it, and they'd done some interviews with them, and BBC Radio, Greater Manchester Radio, also ITV at, at, at another date, you know. And they got quite a bit of exposure, and people, and, and they liked me kind of work, you know, so I, um, I, 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 well, you see where it's come from. We asked John to describe his style of art. Well, I'd like to think it's unique, what I do. And my style, I, I suppose I've got a style of my own. If I see something, if I see a colour I like in a combination, then I'll apply it to a canvas and I'll throw some of the black stuff on to see if it matches. John takes his inspiration from everyday life. I was at a play uh, in, in, um, in a, ch a children's play in, in, in Stockport and uh, one of the schools, St Anne's I think it was. And um, there was a guy sat next to me. This, this guy had a, a coloured, big coloured tie. It was fantastic, this tie. And I couldn't stop looking at it, you know. And I kept turning around and looking at it. And this guy kept watching me, you know. And, he... and I took the I took this image home and I painted some pictures. And it was ended up one of the best pictures I ever made. So, is John the first artist to use bitumen? Uh, although I'm the first man to use hot bitumen, I believe people like Turner and a few others use bitumen but then used it as a cold solution, they, as in a wash. And uh, from what I can gather, some of the paintings have gone a kind of yellowish, and that's the bitumen coming out. We asked John what he likes about using bitumen. I think it's the lines, the filigree lines, that that, that really important, you know. I think because of the because of the nature of the stuff going on, you've got to be quick. And that's speed of hand, speed of hand is what, you get these lovely, beautiful, quick movements. Uh, and I think that's what, what makes the picture. What's John's advice to budding artists? It doesn't cost nothing. You may as well have a crack at it. God love us, you may enjoy it. <laughs>